Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gold Technical Analysis Session with Mukme. So, I've been missed out for about two days, but the reason behind that is that I didn't want to push you that, okay, you need to trade every single day. No. All right, because the market is now being in a sideway and it is very risky. I talked about it the whole month. All right, so our telegram, the win rate that we had for May, so the last month was about 90%. That's really high. But this month, which is actually June, all right, we just finished June, and our win rate went down to 35%. Why is that? Because the market is not really favor our trading system. All right, so the best market to trade is the market that has a trend, either an uptrend or a downtrend. Once the markets enter the sideways phase, we do need to be really careful. And if you notice, our signal said that you need to reduce your risk all right during the whole June okay so I hope that you learn something from this experience and you will know that okay if the market is being in a sideway maybe we can just take the rest and we use those free time that we've got to learn something new to get some new knowledge or if you want to learn the other products on this market maybe you can but i'll say that everything either gold or the currencies or the index is really really hard to trade for june okay but but today is the first day of july and i am back so i will have some good news for you okay so if this is the first day of july we do need to go to the monthly time frame all right are you ready let's go here is the monthly time frame so if you remember i said this month which which is may if may can close above 1880 the price will continue to go up but it did not so really really beautiful that i said okay if it did not close at 1880 the price will continue to drop down and it went like so okay exactly as what i said so june closed as the bearish candlestick what about july what about this month what is my perspective for july i would say that it could go either way why is that because the last month candlestick it was a bearish but it is an inside bar okay so it's a little bit unclear at the moment but if you remember we have this demand zone okay so the price is still using this demand zone and it has some signal which is the hidden divergence that i use to check if the price will continue as the trend that it is using which is this is being an uptrend so if we have the hidden divergence signals okay so we've got something like this if the price coming back down it will have a chance that the price will shoot back up and make an even higher high okay however from the price action of the candlestick i would say this month maybe it could continue a little bit further down all right to make a reversal bar so what is the support that I'd say important is this one at 1780 okay so that's the support that we are looking for for this month you guys that's important for the monthly time frame let's go to the weekly time frame in the weekly time frame we have this downtrend pattern all right and the price is very likely to make a lower low as it's being a downtrend. However, if you remember, 
we do have our double bottom structure so it could go either way double bottom or go straight down to make a low below okay that's for the weekly time frame what about the demand and the supply that we've got so we've got the demand zone here around the same price as the monthly time frame okay but we have a little smaller box here and the supply here okay we do have the resistance as well at around 1890 okay the support we will use the same thing as the monthly time frame which is the 1780 so that's done for the weekly time frame and what about the daily time frame for the daily time frame it kind of like maybe the goal shows the downtrend okay but i would say that this is not that clear that i will say okay it will go down you need to go for a sale no why is that because if you remember we have this supports and yesterday the price closed like above this supports and also above this swing low of the last candle stick as well so this price action could tell us that actually today the price might shoot back up all right that's really tricky yeah i know it might sounds a little bit weird but that's from our experience okay so the price could do this again double bottom in the daily time frame also and shoot back up like that okay so that's the large perspective for the daily time frame so we've got our supports here for the daily time frame is 1800 and the resistance at around 1820 Right, so the price was using 1820 as support once it crossed this support it will turn itself back to the resistance all right what about the four hours time frame nothing much but i would say that you got to be really careful about this swing high okay so if you go for a sell here please please put your stop loss anywhere above this swing high okay but the buying plan this is a good one actually so buy gold at 1800 okay stop loss at 1796 take profit first target would be the risk per reward one okay so that's about 40 pips all right we do send out these plans on our telegram so if the video went go up really late maybe the price might hit our tp already so you will need an updated plan okay so for today i do really hope that you learn something new and if you do please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you want to join the telegram please follow us on the bubi project so i will leave the link down below you can register it online and we will process that for you so happy july everyone bye